Whoa, look at those grapes. And there goes Adam, Michael, and John. If their outfits look familiar, it's because this video clip was shot yesterday. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's a lot of talent in this office. And I'd like to take this time to shine a spotlight on one particular person, Mr. Brent Rollins. If you don't know who that is, well, you should pay attention. This man has made a huge impact in the hip hop and art community. I didn't put his interview in yesterday's video because I wanted to give him his proper ear time. So without further ado. Uh, my name is Brent Rollins and I'm the creative director at Complex right now. I, I started just sort of like reluctantly, not reluctantly, but like kind of like as a substitute teacher. Um, because uh, Noah, who's the EIC, the, uh, the head cheese here, believe it or not, back in the day, 20 years ago, he was uh, an intern with me and my, my, my partners at Ego Trip. So Ego Trip was like, uh, you know, we did an independent magazine and then we ended up doing stuff for like, we wrote books and then we ended up writing, doing shows for like VH1, like like a white rapper show and stuff like that for, for VH1. And so, uh, you know, I had, you know, worked with Noah as an intern. I guess the art director had left and they needed somebody to sort of finish up the, the, the couple of issues that they were working on. So this was like six years ago. The need kept kind of, uh, was recurring and they, you know, they, uh, Complex needed an art director. I was looking at my finances at the time, <laughs> you yeah. know, and this was like, this was like when the, this is basically when like the economy was going like this, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. So I was like juggling freelance projects and, and it just got to be a lot and, you know, a little bit of money here and there and it just was too much to, to try to focus on. I couldn't get anything done. So the opportunity to kind of come on board full time at Complex came up and I thought about it and I was like, yeah, sure. Like I never had a, I I have never worked for anyone that had a job for 20 years. There's a video, I think it's produced by Gasface. Yeah, this French yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's where you basically tell the story about how you came about with Do the Right Thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit something about that? Are mm -hmm. those? These are my feet. I want everyone to know. I was gonna everyone point that out. Complex. Everybody who's watching this. This is the foundation right here. This is me, dog. Well, how old were you when you did that? Uh, I was maybe 19. Wow. Yeah, maybe, maybe 19 years old, I think. This was shot at the on the back lot of Universal Studios mm -hmm. in California because I'm from Los Angeles. I was fortunate enough that like my friend, his sister, she does all the casting for Spike Lee's movies back in the day, right? And so when they were promoting this, they needed to. They were shooting this in Los Angeles, so they needed some kids. So that's um, so. This is my friend Duran. His sister's the one who does all the casting. This is his other sister, Andrea. And then that's me. Number one, like these were like the Jordan 4s and they're brand new, right? <laughs> so like, I remember we saw like a, a preview of the film, like maybe a couple of months before shooting this, we saw like the Jordan 4s, we were like, oh, like, you know, like going crazy. You can't really tell them this, but like the socks were like, they were, they were like these super thick, I forgot the name of the brand, but they were like, th like these really thick, uh, really colorful socks and they would like double them up. Cause like Spike would always want to like try it, start a new trend or yeah. whatever. So that's why like, like they were trying, like the, 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 the costume designer, um, Ruth Carter, she she's the one that um, kind of came up with this like like style idea to like little. Even though no one in New York was really wearing like double socks, like they wanted to try to like start a trend. Black Star. I, uh, I bought the seating. You did. I sure did. That's tight. When we were shooting Boys in the Hood, and there's the opening scene in the classroom, and the show like you know it's supposed to be like how the kids in the school are affected by the the violence and all the police brutality and all the stuff that they see. And so we needed some kids' drawings. So like I drew. <laughs> oh. So like so it says like yeah, you know, I just decided to sign my name on it just Got because. It. But yeah, it, I, you know, this is one of my masterpieces. Any advice for oh, say God. a 17, 18, 19 year old trying to do their thing? Trying to the, try, trying to get on the... RF, trying to make <laughs> Spike Lee posters or um, or anything like nowadays. Um find your tribe, find the other find the other people that are sort of like-minded like you and try to build and um, get out your comfort zone, you know? Like I see, a lot of, I see a lot of kids who are doing things that they see or emulating what they also see on social media and whatever, and that's cool because, I mean that's cool as like the initial exposure, but you're not gonna get anywhere if you're just doing the same thing as everyone else, like big deal. It's so easy to just look at social media in the same circle of stuff, like- And mimic the same thing. And mimic thing. the exact same thing, man. Like no one's bringing nothing new to the table if you're doing that.
It what? says Wednesday, February 1st. What's the time? 10.17. Perfect. Okay. So if you guys are watching this right now, that means that we are in present time. Real time! Why is that, you ask? Well, there was a good segment that was shot yesterday that I can't release just yet. But I have it in the chamber and it will be coming soon. So I apologize if it's this video seems a little bit weird from lunchtime to what you're about to see. Uh, so without further ado, Maggie, we're going back to... The past? Yes, correct. <laughs> Please hit the like button. I'll tell you what that does. When you hit the like button, you see all these videos on the side right here? That makes my video popular, which means it'll get more views. And by getting more views, I can go to all these exclusive events like the NBA All-Star Weekend. I can't go to the Super Bowl because that's like right around the corner this weekend. But all these big events, they'll send me out there if it hits a certain amount of views. So I can only show you guys what you guys show me. Show me love and that thumbs up and I'll take you places. That's it. It's simple as that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll pass it over to Julian and India. Say what you just said and then Julian, you'll just remix it. I said you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. But? But then remix, <laughs> you catch more honeys by being fly. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Deuces!